What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sandra, and welcome back to Sandra Said What. Today we're going to be discussing Will Smith slapping comedian Chris Rock at the Oscars. As you guys may or may not know, the Oscars were yesterday, and Chris Rock was the host for the night. And just when everybody thought the Oscars was dead, Will Smith came and revived it live on stage when he went up there and smacked Chris Rock dead across the face, no joke, and walked away with Chris Rock standing there in shock. To it. Apparently the joke that Chris Rock made was alluding to Jada Pinkett Smith, who is Will Smith's wife, here. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane too. can't wait to see it, alright? <laughs> When Chris Rock made the joke, it appears that originally Will Smith was even laughing until it seems that he looked over to his wife who was clearly not amused. Just walked up there, up the stage and went and dead smacked him in the face. And Chris Rock, it seems like he wasn't even expecting anything because the way he was standing hands behind his back, even leaning forward towards um, Will Smith even thinking oh maybe he wants to tell me something but it turned out that was not the case what a lot of people may not realize is that this spontaneous act may not be all that random actually for the past few years there has been a lot of tension between the smiths and chris rock especially in 2016 when a lot of people were boycotting the oscars due to a lack of diversity mainly being led by jada pinkett smith because she believed that her husband, Will Smith, should have won the award for con Concussion, I believe is the movie. Chris Rock was also the host of that um, Oscar, and he made some disparaging comments about Jada Pinkett Smith. Chris was mocking the Smith, saying that basically the reason why Jada was mad is because she wasn't invited. And he made this weird comment about Rihanna's panties. You guys can read it here. And... Since then, there's been kind of a bit of tension between them. In that same breath, Chris also went on to mock Will Smith, saying that maybe he wasn't nominated for concussion, but he was also overpaid for Wild Wild West, alluding that it was a terrible movie and he didn't deserve the money. Jada has made it no secret that she suffers from alopecia, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks your body and, you know, causes you to lose hair. It creates certain patches that may overlap sometimes, and it just gives you problems with growing hair in certain areas in your head. So she decided instead of me trying to hang on to certain pieces and parts of my hair, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shave it all off and rock the bald look, and we know if anybody can rock a bald look is Jada Pinkett Smith. Honestly, I don't think this was about Chris Rock at all. I think Chris Rock was the wrong person who said the wrong thing at the wrong time. And as we know, for the past couple years, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith have been the butt of jokes, especially with the age of social media. And especially when with the whole entanglement with, uh, what's his name, August Alcina and people making joke of him. Because honestly... Up until a couple years ago, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith were literally a lot of people's couple goals, celebrity couple goals. And this is why we have to be careful about idolizing celebrities in their relationships because we don't know what's going on in their private lives. And for clarification, Will Smith has said himself that there has been no infidelity in his relationship. So what he's saying that it is that he and his wife... For years people have been saying this. He and his wife has an agreement which Jada has said herself that you know you do your thing I do my thing but we're not breaking up. But there is still that we in this forever. Even if you're doing your thing on the side I'm doing my thing on the side. And I do not believe that Will Smith did not know what was going on what was going on with August. It just wasn't supposed to be public. It's just that we weren't supposed to know about it. That's why even throughout the years when there have been rumors of things like these, 
in the Smith household, people still regarded them as their celebrity couple goals because people did not want to believe certain things can happen. And again, it's a cautionary tale of us holding celebrities to certain standards when we don't even know these people. They have their personal lives, their personal beliefs that they live by. And we still want to hold them in certain regards and hold them as example for our own lives. I want to address this point. A lot of people were saying that Will Smith would not have done this if this was a white comedian up there. And I absolutely agree. Will Smith would not have put his hands on a white comedian that was making, you know, a joke at the Oscars. Because this is the nature of the Oscars for years. Um, you have hosts up there that make fun of people in the audience. That's natural. And because I feel like when it's us, black people versus black people, or black people versus white people, we tend to have certain restraints towards white people because we know that society will punish us a lot more severely versus us attacking another black person. I absolutely agree. I do not think that Smith would have smacked a white comedian and I think because of the nature of the fact that there are two black people um, who seem to be industry friends he felt the comfortability to walk up there and put his hands on Chris which is not okay so I do feel very very bad for Chris because like I said I can't imagine being humiliated yeah I'm sure that Chris has seen a lot in his time as a comedian we know comedians have seen a lot of stuff but for someone to still put their hands on you me personally someone putting their hands on me is go time it's go time. I know I, I preach peace. I'm this and that. But I know who I am. And I know in that moment, there would be no stopping me. And you can even tell that maybe Smith was ready to rumble. Because after he smacked him, he kind of had a little stance. Because he wasn't, he wasn't sure how Chris was going to react to the smack. But Chris Rock showed extreme, extreme restraint. Did not fight back. Because I couldn't even begin to imagine, picture these Two very successful men on stage at the Oscars just having a brawl. Security have to be called. People running off. Because we know the Oscars is predominantly Caucasian people. Scared for their lives. You know, that type of stuff. So, I couldn't even begin picture to imagine it. But Chris Rod absolutely showed the most phenomenal restraint. And I don't think Chris Rock is the fighting type anyway so I wouldn't even picture him trying to fight Will Smith and I think even though they I don't know the level of their friendship I don't see Chris Rock even fighting back with Smith just because even if they're not friends friends at least they're industry friends to some extent and I, I I'm not surprised that basically Chris Rock didn't fight back. So when it came out that Jada Pinkett Smith had a quote unquote entanglement in her words with August Alsina, you know, social media lost it. And since then, they've been the butt of jokes for the past couple of years. People have been, you know, attacking them, making all kinds of statements, you know, um, vilifying Jada specifically vilifying Jada specifically and you know just calling Will Smith a punk a simp blah 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 blah. how could you let a woman treat you like this and people going and attacking Jada Will Smith finally he had it he cracked and he had a lapse of judgment and he definitely went up there and smacked Chris Rock because he was triggered because as I said originally it appeared that Smith was laughing at the joke until he looked over to his wife who was not happy and he felt maybe the need to get up there and defend her, her honor he was absolutely triggered and absolutely angry and he took it out the wrong person a lot of the comments on social media seem to be oh um black people embarrassing black people on stage in front of white people i freaking hate this this is one of the main parts i hate about living in mainly predominantly white society anything you do you have to be judged to the standards of white people of what white people are going to think of us as a collective we're not even allowed to be human we're not even allowed to have lapses in judgment we're not even allowed to um be angry it's always oh be careful white folks are watching we have to i hope that we can be we can free ourselves from the thought process of always trying to appease white folks and what they're going to think of us because guess what what white people think of us they already think of us nothing is going to change that we have had a lot of great examples of black people in this society and White people still hold the same beliefs that they've had for black people 
that they have that they have had for a long time. So this has nothing to do with um, white people. And we have to be able to show grace to black people that are going through things. We have to show grace to black people that are having personal life issues, mental health issues. I feel like this society is already hard on black people, but black people particularly are even harder on black people when they have certain people that they hold in high regards that they feel that should be leading examples of proving to white people essentially you see how good we can be you see we don't have we're, we don't have to fight you see that we basically us proving to white people trying to prove to white people i'm good i'm good i behave i do what i'm told i'm successful i'm this and that and i think that it's very detrimental because we judge each other the hardest. Do I agree with what Will Smith did? Absolutely not. I again, my heart goes out to Chris Rock. I feel like, like I said, I don't know what I personally would have done in that situation. Um, I, even though I don't see him as a fighting type, no one deserves that kind of treatment. No one deserves to be disrespected. Not even you know publicly, globally. Nobody deserves to be disrespected like that. But can I understand that Will Smith has been having a public trauma with all watching him going through this trauma from his wife and other things that's going on. And he finally, he cracked. He's human. We don't know what else is going on with him. His wife is sick. All of these things, they have an impact on people. So even though I disagree with, with, with what he did, I still understand that he was a person who had a lapse of judgment. Moreover, I do have an issue with the fact that he was able to apologize to the Academy, but not Chris Rock. I think... Chris Rock deserves a public apology. No, it's not going to be handled privately. No, it's not going to be onto the side. You disrespected him publicly in front of the entire world. So you need to apologize publicly in front of the entire world. Whether or not they get together and, you know, clear this up. And I honestly don't think Chris Rock is... I'm not going to speak for him. I don't think he's taking it as seriously as we are. Not as serious. I don't want to say as seriously. But like... He's not as angry as we are about it. I don't believe he is. I think he, because again, he's a comedian. He knows things happen. He's able to move on. But I still feel like this was absolutely out of line. This was absolutely disrespectful. And he deserved that public apology. All of this, judging Jada, going after her, saying all these things to her. As you can see, Smith would not approve of it. He would not approve of people attacking his wife for some because he knows that his wife and he and his wife had an agreement. So Jada is not the devil here. Jada is not the bad guy here. It's just a situation that was private that became public and we all are putting in our two cents for the past two years, attacking him, calling him simple, he needs to leave her, attacking her and she's they're always the butt of the jokes and Will Smith has, was never thought of as the person who could come as the person who could, you know, come and whoop your butt. Um, he was never seen as that. He was always seen as the goofy guy, as the simple guy, um, you know, always dancing and laughing and joking. And he finally he cracked. Now, it really could not have been me up that stage taking a smack on somebody. I'm telling you, y'all, I don't like confrontation, but somebody came and co come up to me and smacked me like that. I'm going to start crying. I would have gone Godzilla on everybody and their mamas because you put your hand on me like that. You're not walking away. You're going to have to kill me or something because you're not just walking away from slapping me like that. But like I said, Chris Rock, he kept it very professional. I commend him. He kept it very professional, continued the show, and everybody had a good show. After slapping Rock, it seemed that um, Will Smith went back to his seat, and Chris Rock was like, oh, what's up? What's going on, bro? Like, it's just a GI joke, and he was saying, you know, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. I think when he was up walking up there, he decided, I'm going to have to do something drastic, as as people tend to do when they're making bad decisions. When you take a look at Will Smith, he is... After all, an actor. And guess what? He's able to fake a smile. Him specifically, I can see Will Smith faking a smile. So when we saw that he originally laughed at the joke, I don't think he found the joke funny. I think that's just his personality. That's just his persona. That's just his acting skills. He's able to laugh in situations when he's extremely angry, which makes him a very dink you know a very dangerous person i don't want to say things like that but people like that who can laugh and joke and this and that 
with and have no problem laughing when they're in ex where when they're extremely angry they can easily switch which is what he did i don't think like i said he found the joke originally funny but he laughed because he was supposed to he was keeping up appearances which has been very successfully over the years the lapd even had to put their two cents in because when things like that happen they're gonna ask you do you want to press charges and they said that chris Rock does not want to press charges and again, I'm not surprised by that. Chris Rock doesn't seem like the type of person that would press charges against another very successful black man. I think he's very understanding that, hey, this was somebody that had a lapse of judgment again. Somebody that, you know, has been under pressure. Somebody that has been, you know, struggling publicly and still trying to keep up that appearance. And he finally, he cracked. I think Chris Rock is very understanding of that. I don't foresee him... Um, filing charges in the future even though the LAPD are saying you know we're ready if he's when he's ready I don't foresee him doing that however like I said I do believe that he is owed a very public apology and no this is not Will Smith defending his wife publicly this is not something to you know look forward to oh my gosh if my man doesn't do this for me I would not want my man to behave in that manner but if he did would I be understanding that hey he's human and he made a mistake and be forgiven Absolutely, I would be. Lupita was shook. I am Lupita. Lupita is me. Lupita was absolutely shook that, you know, holy cow, what's happening here? And then when he said the thing about keep my name, keep my wife's name out your mouth, you could tell Lupita's face kind of changed like, oh, okay, this is why he's upset. Because when he went up there and just smacked them, he didn't even give a reason. So at that point, I don't even believe that um, Chris Rock had realized why he was upset. I'm sure he probably figured but you know for him to actually confirm it that's different but the main reason that i wanted to make this video is stop trying to get black people to live up to white people's standards to what what white people are going to approve of we are again human beings who make mistakes we get mad we get angry we fight we laugh we dance um we make mistakes so i think the fact that we are trying to say oh you're embarrassing us in front of those white folks please let's leave that in the past because we deserve to be human and we don't owe white folks a thing they've already taken everything that they could from us so literally we do not owe them anything else secondly yes will, um, will smith needs to apologize to chris rock publicly i would not accept anything less from him and a lot of people are disappointed in will a lot of people are angry at him people are even saying that he shouldn't have received the oscar afterwards or he shouldn't have been in the building i do agree with that but i feel like that um his whole career he's been working um for this and i'm glad in some way that i know this might not be popular opinion but i'm glad in some way that he still got to live his moment that moment wasn't robbed from him but i do believe that he should have been escorted at the building um all in all this was just you know i fight my, with my brothers i fight with my sisters i fight with my friends this was just a very public thing and it's just you know it's a cautionary tale of you know people celebrities are human and they do go through a lot and we have to be careful in the way that we continue to attack them when we don't even know their lives so you guys again let me know what you guys think of this video i know a lot of people are coming for um to smith's defense a lot of people again are trying to say hey he doesn't deserve this this was wrong and you know people are all always going to have things to say one way or the other i'm saying something this is my opinion right um but again we have my main point is we have to be able to show black people more grace when they go through things again do i agree absolutely i do not condone his behavior but can i see this possibly being me yes why because i'm human and i could react any way to any situation so i'm not going to be angry at him but he does owe chris an apology and yeah i hope they can move forward I don't see um, Chris Rock trying to sue him in the future. At least I hope not. This literally could have ruined his career. This could have put... I, we don't know what's going to happen. I don't see Will Smith's career ending because he is... Um, he has his own studio. He is a very big actor. I don't see this, you know, jeopardizing his career. But I, And because it wasn't a white man that he attacked. That's the reality in America. Um, if it was a white man he attacked, I could see... The punishment being a lot more severe as far as like the backlash but i don't see this happening i do hope i hope will can take some time off to um really emotionally heal 
because I think you know when you're the happy person you keep going and going and going until you snap I hope he can take some time off to heal and I hope that we as um, a people who admire his work we can give him show him some grace and I hope that Chris Rock gets his apology and I hope everything turns out okay for them so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate you let me know your thoughts in the comment what do you guys think about this whole ordeal and I will be sure to see you guys later bye <laughs>